Uh-huh. Yup. Hey, this is Kral, so welcome back everybody to a new Minecraft Let's Build. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you smack the like button. And if you do so, spank you very 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 much but ladies and gentlemen in the previous episode we built a small modern house behind me and you guys seem to enjoy it a lot the feedback was fantastic you guys are fantastic so thank you so so much if you want to build it yourself there's gonna be a link for that house in the description below the video but in today's episode we're gonna be building a quite small starter house well maybe not that small but it's gonna be simpler right so let's get to it the materials we're going to be using the most in today's build are as followed. Oak logs, cobblestone, oak planks. What is that even? <laughs> Stripped spruce wood. I love it. Spruce wood trapdoors, window penises, uh, spruce wood stairs and slabs. And finally, oak stairs. We're going to be using the default resource pack and the shaders I'm on are called Silders Vibrant Shaders version 1.18 high. So uh, no time to waste. Let's get crafting. So let's start with the foundation, and this might be a little bit cringe, okay, but uh, we usually clap after the first block. Don't ask me why, it is a channel tradition, alright? So let's do this, 3, 2, 1, and poop it down. Yeah. So we start with an oak log, and then using cobblestone, take it out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and on the end, oak log again. So this is going to be the front of the house if you're building this alongside with me, all right? But then using cobblestone, take it out by one, two, three, four, five, and six. An oak log. Jump away two tiles and on the third one, one more oak log. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six more of the cobblestone and oak log. And then one, <laughs> count it with cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. An oak log. So this should meet up with that, and that is pretty much the, the, the back of the house, right? We're going to do it a little bit differently because we're going to have a little chimney here. So take it out by one, two cobblestone, one, two, take it out uh, in the back by one, two, and in the front by one, two. So it looks something like that. Cobblestone all the way to the end, and bam. Then, on the front, take it out by one, two, and three cobblestone, one, two, and three cobblestone. And just here in the front, do place two spruce, uh, spruce wood stairs. That's going to be the front entrance to our house. And I don't really have any spruce wood planks, so let's grab them and let's place them one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and take it in by one and two. So from above, we have this shape. Then using oak planks, let's get a little perimeter going all the way around here. So this is how it looks, and in this gap, let's fill that up with some spruce wood planks. Voila! Something like this. So the main body of the house is 18 blocks on the long side and 10 blocks on the short side. Not counting the little front porch and the little chimney here in the back. Then using oak logs, let's raise up all the current oak blocks as we see here by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Um, kind. So now we have a total height of six blocks counting from the grass. Then using oak planks, we can do a little shape here. And the thing about this house is going to be having double walls. It might be a little bit of a waste of space, but the beauty of it is that we can have different materials on the outside and inside. So like on the outside, we could have like building materials when it comes to house constructions. And on the inside, we can have like wallpaper and whatnot. We're not really going to have much of it, but uh, there is a possibility. So something like this from above, and then let's just do one more row. So one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way up. That should leave us a gap in between those pillars by four blocks. And we're going to have a window. I'm going to be using the strips spruce wood because I haven't used them. But you can use whatever materials you prefer, right? And then just place them like this and like that. There's going to be a window here, which is two in height. So let's just leave a gap by two blocks and do more strips spruce wood like this. Bam. And then on the top here, oak planks all the way across. Bam. So now we have a window. Then just using the glass panes, let's just fill up the, fill up the little gap over here. And then just to get some decoration and detail going, let's grab the spruce wood trapdoor and let's place two like this, two like that, turn around, turn around, two like this, and two like that. You might be but, 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 no buts. And then just on the side, just kind of like like window blinds and whatnot, 
you might think, but the other's not gonna cover the window. Hey, it is Minecraft, right? So now we have a little bit of decoration and detail. Let's just keep it like this and let's do the same on the other side. Exactly the same. Like a soul, not bad. And from above, you should be having this shape. Not too shabby. Well, it's kind of shabby at this stage. And I know I did use the, the stripped uh, spruce wood logs or blocks over here. However, maybe just using the spruce wood planks would have blended nicer with the trapdoors. Oh yeah, Stephen Nipples Batman. However, I don't really care. I'm just going to go with the stripped logs because why not? Boom, done it. And then moving to the front, we're going to have two windows. We need to find a middle piece or middle point between those pillars. So let's do this. One, two, and one. There's gonna be a window which is tuned with, and let's do the same on this side. So one and one, two. Are we in the middle? Pretty much so. And let's take this all the way up. So let's get this side going. And I'm not gonna change the interior walls to anything else fancy, but there's a possibility to do so if you wanna have like, I don't know, maybe like red wool in your bedroom uh, wallpaper and whatnot. That is a possibility, so just do it. But I ain't. Voila! Then two more windows and pretty much the same design. So I don't I don't think we can put the trapdoors in, in between here, but I think we can still frame it and semi nice, I guess. So let's do this, this, and that. And let's see here. We're gonna have the glass panes. And what goes with trapdoors on those, maybe just on the side. Yes, this is what I mean. Like using the planks would have framed this very nicely around, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just do this. And then little blinds here on the side, because why not? Like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is going to be perfect. Like, I mean, it is a star house at the end of the day, right? We don't need to overdo it. Just make it simple. And let's just mirror the same shape on this side. And bam. Something like a so. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, um, it's a thing, I guess. Then, using spruce wood stairs, let's make a little front entrance. So let's place two stairs upside down on this side, two on that side. And above that, let's just fill up the gap with some oak planks. Perfect. And then, and then, no, and then, let's get oak planks going something like so. It's not going to be windows, windows, but uh, it's going to be the same design. And then I guess we can just take the planks all the way up. So we meet up with the top elevation, which is six blocks in height from the ground counting. And, um, and then let's get the strip of spruce wood on this side and on this side and i guess here in between let's maybe add ourselves what you're gonna call it fence fence let's get the maybe spruce wood fence how is that gonna look not shabby not shabby i guess and you know what we could do if i place them over here could i grab the lanterns and then just hang it? i guess that's gonna be a thing right oh <laughs> yes that is kind of snazzy said yeah it is it is you just you just wait and see okay so on the back we're gonna be thinking a little bit about room layout okay so we're gonna have the fireplace over here so i guess that's gonna be the main room of the house and then maybe we can have a little bedroom on this side so um, what goes for windows so let's keep this wall intact without any window let's maybe add a window just mirror to the little front entrance over here so it's gonna be boom 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 and then obviously we're gonna have a stripped spruce wood so that is gonna be our window on the back and I guess we could do, let's do, let's cover this up. Uh, this might be the bedroom, right? So let's maybe do this as a little room layout. And since we're not gonna have any window, we can maybe even make the bedroom a little bit bigger by doing this. So this is not gonna be a double wall, it's just gonna be a single wall here. So from above, you should be having this. So that's gonna be risen up to six in height, all over the, the oak planks, window. And what goes for the little fireplace, let's maybe temporarily just get that up to six in height in total for counting from the grass oh yeah so yeah let's just rise up every single block so it meets up with the top elevation including the window the window is gonna be pretty much the same design as we've seen before perfect something like this and uh, we can pretty much venture on the inside just check out the space uh, now and I guess um, it is quite decent where do we have the stairs let's just get up and down stairs over here so that's gonna be a lot better how are we looking just amazing now what we're gonna do we're gonna grab ourselves the spruce wood stairs and we're gonna be placing upside down spruce wood stairs here just on the fifth block counting from the ground and i'm just gonna turn them like a so we're gonna do the same on this pillar over here and turn it we're gonna do the same on this side so on the fifth block counting from the ground and turn it the same over here 
Boom, and turn it. And what goes for the front over here? Let me just think, would that work on the same elevation? I guess it will. So let's get one and turn it, or no, you know what? Let's not. Let's turn this instead, just so we get a nicer shape on that. Maybe, I don't know. Don't judge me, all right? <laughs> it is what it is. Boom, and turn that. Perfect, and then let's grab the spruce wood slabs and get them all the way across in between the newly placed uh, upside down stairs. So we're gonna have one in this gap, nothing on this side, and pretty much one across here on the back. Don't worry, I'm gonna zoom out very, very soon so you guys can see. Something like this. Now comes a little bit of tricky part, but it's not that tricky, because we're gonna be making the, the roof elevation, roof shape. So we're gonna go from this side, using the spruce wood stairs, and we're just gonna be pretty much going back and forth, back and forth, until we meet each other in the middle. Something like this. Not bad, not bad. Then let's just grab some oak stairs, and this is what I'm gonna be using, but you can use whatever material you prefer. So it's kinda like in Die of the Beholder, but I wanna have spruce on the outer perimeter, and then just having oak on the inside. I think that might look really, really snazzy when it's done. Don't you think? I think. But we need to get some, um, some detail going, otherwise it's gonna look really bland. So let's maybe grab some spruce wood stairs and let's get those upside down across here. You might be, but, 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 no but. We just need to get uh, some shade, shades going and whatnot. That is perfect. And maybe even grabbing some spruce wood trapdoors and taking them across over here. Like a soul. Okay. That is gonna be a win-win. And this might be really hard to like follow along, but it is really simple because now we're just pretty much gonna be going with the, with the roof uh, or the stairs uh, layout or stairs elevation. So we're just gonna be placing full blocks where we can and maybe even having a little like window up here in the middle. Yeah, why not? You know what, let's just get a window. So from this side, we'll be looking something like that. It's just up uh, or above those upside down stairs. That is, uh, I guess, a win-win. Let's get uh, maybe this shaped out a little bit, like this. Perfect, and from this side we're looking like that. Okay, upside down stairs, and maybe some trapdoors, just in case we're gonna get some privacy, because we can make a little mezzanine, I don't know, storage room up here or something. You, you, you will be the judges to that. But uh, that is going to be the roof itself. I, I don't think we need to add anything else or any more uh, detail to it. So let's just uh, do this. Get some oak stairs on this side. And I guess top is going to be spruce wood. How are we looking? Ladies and men, I'm just going to pause here just if, in case you want to catch up. But I guess I'm happy with that. It is a starter home. Let's not make it more complex than it already is, all right? That is how it looks from this side. And this is how it looks from the inside at this stage. So let's do the same on this side. And I'm gonna do this on camera. I know I could just maybe skip this, but for those who have like a hard time catching up or just kinda understanding what's happening over here, it's maybe just better to, to do it on camera. And uh, the only thing is that I'm getting a little bit dizzy here, spinning back and forth, back and forth. But uh, you know what? I am gonna prevail. I'm gonna do this for you guys, all right? Boom, boom, bam, and here is the middle point. Perfect. So what did we say? We're gonna have the oak stairs, obviously. So let's do one and two. One and two, like this. And then we had the upside down spruce wood, which was going across over here. So we start over here and then just take this all the way to the other side. Boom, and we had the trap doors, which were going just, um, just below this all the way across like that, perfect. And from the inside, let's get the oak planks, get them across, and then just follow pretty much the, the, the stair layout over here. Nothing complex, but it might seem to be for a star house, no it's not. We had a window, so let's get that shaped out with upside down stairs and some window pieces. And uh, from this side, upside down stairs here and the trap doors for privacy, I guess. Not sure how we're gonna close them, but it's Minecraft. Nobody cares now, do they? And bam, bam, and bam. So ladies and gentlemen, that is that design. It is um, easy peasy lemon squeezy, I guess. What goes for the front? I guess pretty much the same. I mean, this is um, this is as simple as it gets, I guess. 
And now what we need to do, we just need to connect them. Same on the next layer, for example. And they just nicely meet, meet up. As you see over here. Building with Kerales 101. Welcome to Awkward Building with Kerales 101. And I guess for this, let's just see on the inside. So what was I saying? I was gonna have like some type of mezzanine, uh, I don't know, even maybe a bedroom up here or a storage room or whatnot. So let's just fill up the, the floor over here. And if I would just go into the bedroom or the whatever it is gonna be for you guys, let's just maybe get some ladders going because why not? Perfect. And then we can have a ladder going up somewhere over here to meet up with this. Oh yeah, but um, yeah, roofs uh, roofs are easy. I mean, especially how roofs work uh, today. Like when I started playing Minecraft, you couldn't even you couldn't even uh, curve or connect the, the roof pieces nice. Like you couldn't do this little shape, for example. So that was a pain in the butt. Now everything is so much easier, even though it takes a little bit of time to place those uh, goddamn stairs. But uh, it is not bad. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, it is becoming a thing, most definitely. If we just jump in here, let's just think about this uh, momentarily. Um, yeah, let's maybe add this over here and this over here. And if I would just get a ladder, I know we should maybe finish the roof first, but uh, since we do have light in here now, let's do this. So there's going to be a ladder. I know it's a little bit of, of a ghetto layout, but uh, it's going to work. And maybe even getting... Let's say I would get trapdoors going. Can I close them? Uh, perfect. So basically, you could just go up here. And that could be... Well, it could definitely be a bedroom up here. And also, you know what I'm going to do? As thing here, let's just grab oak logs. And let's get uh, an oak log going from this side and this side. All the way across as a little beam. I know might be super unnecessary but uh, why not and when it comes to the fireplace i'm not really gonna have a fireplace because then people are gonna burn down their houses uh, because of fire spread and whatnot and they're gonna be blaming me so let's maybe get just a furnace here in the back stages like this uh, it's not fancy but it's definitely gonna work out and then let's just grab some oak stairs and let's just get a little shape going as well should we get that in the bedroom or maybe just keep the elevation yeah let's just keep that just in case you want to have chests or whatnot and that is stairs so basically we can have a double chest it's still gonna open up uh, without any biggie because of the stairs up uh, well maybe they changed that i have no idea if this works anymore but before or previously years ago when i was playing minecraft that was a thing and you might be, but what is happening now? It is mainly so I can place stairs from above easier. Because now I can just go over here and let's uh, do this. And the shape on the inside is going to be much nicer as well. But it's going to be super dark. So we need to get some lanterns or light going on the inside. But uh, you just wait and see. Yeah, this is... This is um, this might be super hard to kind of understand what I'm doing, but it's pretty much just placing upside down stairs. And if you just follow the the, the whole like uh, the the roof outline over here, it is super simple. Looky, looky at my cookie. You know, please don't. But uh, the roof is closed off. However, let's see here the chimney itself. Let's do. Let's open up here and. Um, Let's take up uh, this part uh, all the way up maybe to the to the top of the roof like that so it kind of meets up with the top elevation. Uh, this over here, let's maybe bring that down. Um, not not a big uh, chimney expert, but uh, let's maybe just do this. I mean, it is a starter house at the end of the day and this is not going to work any house. And let's rise this up by, let's just see here. Let's do maybe, how are we looking on this elevation? I guess that could kind of work. Let's maybe do three full blocks above the top elevation of the roof. And then on the top over here, let's do a shape like this. You might be, Keralis, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is like the worst chimney ever. But no, let's get upside down stairs going from both sides. Boom and boom. And let's just get rid of those. So it's kind of like four blocks above the roof, top roof elevation. And it's kind of visible from the front as well. So I take it. And what goes for the entrance over here? Kind of need to fix this a little bit because now it's like meh. Let's get oak stairs maybe going uh, 
like over here no you know let's go them at the same elevation as the fences over here like this maybe even getting some upside down uh, spruce wood uh, stairs and then the rest let's just hide it away with some big oak planks boom and uh, are we looking i guess fairly decent i would say but let's get this and let's make a shape out of it like this maybe perfect perfect we also would need doors and what goes for doors let's maybe just use spruce because uh, why not spruce wood we're gonna be using a double door on the on the front over here so boom boom and uh, to the bedroom or whatever you guys want to want to use it for i'm not really sure what is it gonna be but um it definitely looks uh i guess it looks kind of decent can I get a lamp going here here and then get some chest going as well and whatnot one thing we could do let's just uh, let's open the door let's grab this uh, well let's grab this uh, spruce wood fence let's get a fence here let's get a fence on this side let's hang down one of those lanterns on both sides so we could do over here it's pretty much delete some of those right same on this side and inside of this we could just add some uh, some chests stair and stair and this is the moment of truth. This is going to tell us if it works to place chests. Yeah. So as soon, as long as we have, like I guess, I guess, a slab or upside down stair or a stair, it's still going to open up. A little bit of storage area. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, what else would you need? Pretty much have everything. Well, obviously, some, some furniture, but I, but, but, I, but I cannot suck at that. Let's just check this out once more. I think our starter home is completed. I don't want to overdo it, so I don't really want to do more. I guess we can bushify it a little bit, and that is about it. You will have to let me know what you guys think about this, but I like this. Do you love it? Hopefully you guys like it as well. One more thing we can do is getting uh, spruce trapdoors, maybe over here for reasons unknown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does give us some, some, some detail over there. And then using some oak wood, like those covered ones. I'm not really sure why you call, what you call them. Just call them oak wood, right? Building blocks. And um, let's make a little, like, uh, I don't know, front garden, maybe. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. Let's do one, two, like this. One, two. One, two, three. One, one. Uh, you might be, but, 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 hey, 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 it's gonna work. How did we do this? So two, one, and I believe that was four, right? Then we had two, two, three, two, one, one, no. <laughs> something like so. Um, this might destroy the house itself, but hopefully not. And let's just grab some grass, fill that up quickly. Okay, it's not much, but it's... Uh, it's kind of snazzy, I would say. And then we can also use the path blocks or grass paths. Uh, let's uh, see if I would just do delete all those like this, and then pretty much just replace it with with a. You might be, but but that's an ugly path. Yeah, it, it might be, but this is just for showcase purposes, all right? Something like that. Bam! We have a tree! Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna call it quits over here, otherwise it's gonna turn into something else than a starter home. But I like it. I really do like it. Like, material-wise, it's kinda easy to obtain. There's mostly just cobblestone, oak, and spruce. Well, obviously there's some lanterns and glass and such, but there is nothing you need to have day one, right? And on the inside, <laughs> it's a little bit ghetto, I guess. But, uh, it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you build this house, please do tweet me some pictures of it. If you build it and tweak it and whatnot, there's gonna be a link for my Twitter in the description below this video. But uh, most importantly, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you got some inspiration uh, when it comes to building. If you did, leave some feedback and do hit the like button because that helps me a lot and just keeps me motivated. But ladies and gentlemen, I am Kiralis. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, uh, micro video. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but um, just just leave some, some feedback, I guess. If this was my house, I would have built so much farm fields in the back, even a barn or whatnot. But it's not my house. Well, it kind of is. Anywho's any house, Kiralis over now. Have a very, very nice day. See you guys in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everybody.